So I've been having this problem with my wall connector. Welcome back to the channel. Um, I've been having this problem with my wall connector. I have one red light that flashes after it's been charging for about 20 minutes usually. And not only does it flash, but it actually reduces the speed of the charging in the car. Instead of pulling 48 amps, it's only pulling 40 right now and charging at nine kilowatts per hour, where it normally charges at 48 amps much faster. So I just finished charging. I set it to 80 and it got to 80, but it finally got it to get on camera, that red light that's flashing. So well, I'm gonna go ahead and send an email out to Tesla to ask them what to do, and we'll see what kind of response we get. All right, so I went into a Google search browser, it simply uh, entered Tesla wall connector. And if I do that, you see one of the first things is the Tesla website. And then there's a support tab and support for questions, existing wall connector order. If you're experiencing problems with the wall connector, contact support team. Let's click on that. Got to sign in. And then uh, let's see here regarding energy wall connector. Uh, da, 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 da. Yes, I need more help. All right, then I'm going to send an email. I'm going to say, I'm going to send an email, not chat, because I, I want to make sure they have time to get back to me and when it works for me. So let's see here energy product support wall connector. I'm going to say that a wall connector has one red light appearing after charging for a few minutes. And we'll do this email. And then we'll wait and see what we get. Several days later. All right, so I heard back from Tesla customer service for the wall connector. I'll throw that email on the screen up right now. Basically, they said, you know, what's the problem? Can you send us a copy or a picture of the information on the side, the serial number of the unit on the side? Once I did that, they were able to see that there was an internal fault, as you can see in the second email, on the wall connector. And they said, basically, they need me to run an update. So I'm going to show you how to run an update. After I do that, if there's still a fault, then they're going ahead and send me a new one, I guess. I'm not sure how much that will cost me or if it'll just be covered. So let's go ahead and see how we can update this thing. I mean, I'm not sure if you know, but these things actually, like when you set them up, they connect to Wi-Fi, and then there are updates that you need to run once in a while. So we will uh, see if we can do that. Another thing I want to tell you is I did have an electrician come out and check this to make sure there's something that didn't happen uh, with the unit or with the cords or anything like that, and the breaker before I even looked into this, and he came out and said everything looked good. So um, let's go and see how we can run this update. Now, it said that it's I need the QR code off of the unit, on the instruction manual, but I happen to have, because I keep all my junk, I happen to have the Tesla wall connector original box here. And I'm pretty sure that in this box, I have the original booklet. And I do. So it wants to scan the QR code on this. So I'll do that and see how we can connect back to the unit via Wi-Fi. Okay, so in order to update uh, the wall connector, the first thing we have to do is we have to get it to activate the Wi-Fi, to display the Wi-Fi network. So one way to do that is to, uh, we can hold the cable button for five seconds to prompt the wall connector to broadcast the signal so it's one, two, three, four, five. All the lights are lit up now, so it's broadcasting the signal, so I should be able to connect to it. So I'll go to my settings here, and there is a Tesla wall connector. So now that we've connected to the Tesla wall connector, or it's connecting, we're now connected. All right, so we've connected to the Tesla wife, the wall connector's Wi-Fi. Now we have to go to this website, 192.168.92.1. And now we are connecting to that thing. Okay, we do have an active alert. This is no active alert, so interesting. Uh, software, 
not yet checked for updates. So it looks like we need to run an update. A new software version is available, so we're going to go ahead and install that. All right, so my problem was I had to change my Wi-Fi password a couple of weeks ago, and so my wall connector was no longer connected to the Wi-Fi. It's amazing how many things connect to Wi-Fi that you don't realize when you reset your Wi-Fi password. So I went in and I reconnected the, the uh, wall connector to the Wi-Fi in that screen that you can see. I had to basically go in and reconnect it um, where it says internet connection. I had to find the internet, connect it. Once I had done that, um, I was able to download the updates and it did upload the updates. Um, so now it should be updated. So at this point, I'm going to contact Tesla if I continue to see the red light and theoretically they said they'd send me another wall connector. So, so that's how you install the updates to your Tesla wall connector. Um, if you've set your Tesla wall connector up with your phone before, then you don't need to worry about the password. If you haven't, the password is actually on the instruction booklet. It's the WPA2 uh, password. It's uh, right there so you can use that password. Uh, once you've gone in and selected the wall connector as your Wi-Fi network, you enter that password and you'll get connect to the Wi-Fi and you'll see the screen that I, I showed you before. Once you're in, again, you just make sure that your wall connector is connected to your Wi-Fi, which mine wasn't, and then you can check for updates and download updates. It's that simple. Uh, I think normally it will do the updates, but because I think I got out of that, wi that I changed my uh, home network, I think it wasn't checking for updates. But that's a way to manually force the updates. So we'll see what happens. Um, hopefully I don't get this red light anymore. If I don't, that's great. If so, then I'll contact them and let them know. So anyways, that's what I got for you this week, how to update manually your Tesla wall connector for updates. So hope you liked this video. If you did, like, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Oh. And I'll follow up with you on whether or not that worked.